let's see some tips and tricks on how to speed up MATLAB code. First, we will look at ways to identify and measure how long our code takes. Then, based on the type of slowdown, we will follow best practices or use other MATLAB features to make it run faster. For our example, we are creating a random matrix A of size num elements using two for loops. Then, we are checking if an element of A is greater than 0.5. If it is, then we assign the value of A to B. Otherwise, we assign the value of minus A to B. First, we need to see how long it takes to run the script. The simplest way to do this is using the tick talk commands. At the MATLAB command prompt, type the tick command, followed by the script or function evaluation, followed by talk. This shows you the elapsed time for the script or function. This code takes about 90 seconds or 1.5 minutes to run. When trying to improve this code, the first thing to check is the code analyzer. If this square here is red, there are errors in your code. Orange means some improvements are suggested by MATLAB. Green says your code is all set. In our case, it is orange and it says that our matrices A and B are changing size with every iteration. This could be an expensive operation for MATLAB to reshape variables every time, especially when working with big matrices. One way to avoid this is to pre-allocate these matrices to a known size and only change the values inside and not the shape. To do this, initialize A and B to a zero matrix of num element size. Using TikTok again, we see that the code takes only about one second to run. That is close to 90x speed up. We would like to see how to improve this code further. There are no more code analyzer suggestions and TikTok doesn't give us any more pointers. To better measure code performance, we use the MATLAB profiler. Go to the Home tab and choose Run and Time. This opens the MATLAB profiler window. Type the name of the MATLAB script or function and click on Start Profiling. We see how long the function took to run. Note that this time also includes some profiler overhead so it will typically show you more time than TikTok. Click on the function name to get more information. We can see the time spent by MATLAB executing each of these lines. When addressing performance issues, this is a good place to identify where to focus our attention in terms of improvement. We are spending the most time in the random number assignment. This line is being executed 25 million times. The power of MATLAB is operating on matrices. Here, we are writing nested for loops for matrix manipulation and can use MATLAB vectorization techniques to make it run faster. The RAND function has a built-in mechanism to generate a matrix. Several MATLAB functions have this capability. Always look at the documentation to see the different ways to call a function. In our code, we can move the random number assignment to outside the loops. We use just a single line of MATLAB code by calling RAND with num elements variable. Profiling this, we see that our code is faster now, taking around 5 seconds to run as opposed to 6 before. We are also not spending as much time for random number generation. Next, we need to find a way to improve this logical statement. We are doing element-wise comparison here and can use MATLAB logical indexing to vectorize this. Instead of assigning B to zeros, let's assign A to it. Then, using a logical array, we can index into matrices to do a conditional assignment to assign minus A to B when we satisfy the condition. Profiling this, we see that our code is faster now, taking less than one second to run as opposed to five before. We can also see that all lines are executed only once and we have removed all the loops. After all these optimizations, now we can compare the code iterations. Plotting the runtime on a semi-log scale, we see the pre-populated results here. We started close to 100 seconds runtime and now able to get less than one second. That is almost 100x speed up. Let's look at another example. We are reusing the optimized code from before. In addition, we are calculating the maximum eigenvalue of the B matrix. We are doing this for 24 different B matrices. Using TikTok, we can see that the code takes about 500 seconds to run. We are spending the most time calculating the eigenvalues in the loop and do not see potential for improving the code inside the loop. In such cases, we should be able to use the multiple cores in our machine and solve each of the loop iteration tasks separately and then combine the results. We can do this using the parallel computing toolbox. Type powerpool at the MATLAB command prompt to create a parallel pool of MATLAB workers. 
These individual workers can then be assigned tasks. I now have six workers at my disposal. This depends on the number of cores in your machine. To use them, we will change our for loop to a par for loop. Now using TikTok, we see that our code is faster now, taking around 250 seconds to run as opposed to 500 before. That is about 2x speed. Note that doing parallel tasks comes with its own time penalties, such as communication overhead and setting up the parallel pool. It is recommended to do some timing experiments to make sure that changing to parallel execution is actually worth it. Also, note that all serial code is not easily parallelizable like our case. Look at the resources section to find more documentation about this. In general, we have looked at only a select few tips and tricks to speed up MATLAB code. There are several other ways. Look at the MATLAB acceleration page linked in the resources section to get more information about the ways discussed here in addition to other ways as well.